Good morning, my name is Peter. I'm a friend of Mahima, who I met um, last year. Um, I can say that now, <laughs> now that it's 2017. I met her last year at the One Solution Conference in Oslo uh, when we were both uh, speaking there. Uh, around about Christmas time, she uh, sent me a note saying, hey, it'd be lovely to uh, get a few videos from friends I'd like to hang out with more but don't get the chance to do so so i wrote her a note back saying yes i'd love i'd love to do a video for for you and then a bit later i dropped her note saying what is it that you'd like me to talk about so i agreed before uh before knowing what the subject was um and she said just whatever whatever you're seeing is new whatever you're seeing is fresh whatever um you'd like to share that that has a a newness to it and what uh, came to mind for me is that I'm seeing something new in vulnerability uh, I think I had previously associated vulnerability very much with fear uh, because I had a whole bunch of thinking that came or seemed to come with vulnerability and the thinking was well what happens if I don't succeed what happens if I don't know enough, what happens if um, I make a mistake, etc, etc. And I had that bunch of thinking and I associated that with very much with vulnerability. Well then I, I've been looking a little bit closer and, uh, and indeed I'm, I'm kind of, that seems to be a common theme with my understanding of the three principles at the moment that I seem to have, be better having a a closer relationship to my feelings to understand what they're saying uh, to me to understand whether my thinking is on course or off course and so with, when I looked a bit closer at vulnerability I saw that in actual fact it's coming when I'm doing something new it's coming when I'm doing something that I'm on the edge of my learning with not all of the times but but quite often when I'm taking a step that I haven't taken before. And instead of looking out to the possibilities of what could go wrong and what might not work, I've been looking in that moment of vulnerability to what I do know. And what I know is that well-being is within. Well-being is within me. So whatever step that I take and it's the same for you as it is for me whatever step that I take whether that leads to something or not then I am always well you are always well for the well-being is within each of us and looking to what I know within a place of vulnerability just adds to the excitement it adds to the excitement well I could take this step and have absolutely nothing on the success or failure of it. And it adds to the sense of, of, of newness and the sense of uh, both not knowing, but also having a deep sense of wellness within. So I'm seeing it more as a gift than I've ever seen it before. And as I look back on my life, and I look at the moments where I have perhaps taken a, a risk or taken a chance and felt that, that energy of vulnerability, I've stepped out and I've taken it and I've grown as a result. I've grown as a result of those steps. And I've become new within myself as a result of those steps. As I look back, over five, six, seven, eight, nine occasions can, can come to mind quite, quite easily where I, have, where I have taken a step and ignored the fear, but stayed with the excitement and the vulnerability, then it has always been, and I have always been, well. So that's the test for me, that the, the, the action may not have led anywhere, but I have been well anyway and I've learned and grown as a result. And so I thought what I would do is I would, I would also do something vulnerable and new in, 
in this video by sharing a poem that I've written and I've 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 never read a poem uh, out loud to an audience or uh, on a video before so this is a fresh for me so we'll see how <laughs> we'll see how it goes this poem is called natural inquiry how often do you see a flower shrug away the warm glow of the light how often do you see a flower shrug away the warm glow of the light or wild grasses stand firm to defy the swirl of the wind which deciduous leaf decided that it only it would be the one to mock gravity in the fall. Which deciduous leaf decided that it, only it, would be the one to defy gravity in the fall? And what sea swept away from the shore never to return? What sea swept away from the shore never to return? Mountains, moon and clouds, all that is natural, similar questions could be asked of them. But really, the only inquiry is this. But really, the only inquiry is this. What are you fighting against for your life not to be lived by the source of all being? But really, the only inquiry is this. What? are you fighting against for your life not to be lived by the source of all being and so for me that poem talks about the energy the space that, that's within us the space that we can always look towards when we're feeling vulnerable and it's a space that I'm seeing afresh for 2017 as new and exciting. And I'd like to sign off now by wishing you all a very happy 2017. And I hope this finds you well. Thank you.